Hey, how's it going? I have another unboxing. It's from Joy Colt. First drop of the year. And I think they're reading my mind. Let's check it out. Ooh. So yeah, I got quite a few sets of wheels. I don't know what these are. I took inventory. These are what I ordered, not these. So super excited. But as usual, we're gonna start off with the stickers first. Got this really cool fuzzy guy. Two of these ones. A bunch of the Joy Colt sticker sheets, or repeats, whatever they're called, I don't remember. Five of the very reflective Joy Colts, and this one that says, so yeah, the stickers, really, really cool. Let's look at these bags. And for those who don't know, these are what the Joy Colts used to come in. They used to come in these little cool cloth bags. This one is gonna be like a light brown. So inside that bag, there were these yellow wheels. These ones, they look different compared to the PBJs, I think they were called. They were like a yellow and a white swirl wheel that was, I think during the holiday drop, those ones that I, I did uh, pass up on those ones because I actually got those in the Blam drop and those wheels, they were just fine. They didn't have like, I don't know. I don't know, what, I don't know why they were in the Blam drop, but I did already have those, so I skipped out on that drop. But these are a solid yellow. That is really cool. We'll call them the silly bananas for now. And for the next one in the light pink bag. Oh, and something that I didn't bring up says Joy Colt. This one says Joy Colt right there as well. Okay, so I guess this is going to be a preview of a future drop. I don't even know what to call these. So they're going to be the... XL shape, the classic X, no, OG, what are they called? So these ones are going to be the OG, these are going to be the 3.0 XL shape. So they're going to be the biggest sized one. They are a dark blue with a black face. Might be a little bit blurry, but I got a shit like that colorway. Oh, that's cool. I'm going to have to go send a message, see if I have to cut this part out or not. Or maybe it was intentional because he knows I do these videos. So let's start building up the hype for the next drop. No way. Thank you very much for sending these wheels. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna send a message right now. Let's find out. Joy Colt message. Yo. So I sent him a message. Um, he may or may not get back to me in the next few minutes. Uh, if he gets back to me by the time, like after I record this video, I'll put a little correction thing about what's going on with these wheels. But either way, I am super, super hyped about these. I'm dropping everything. I'm excited. You know what? If he comes back, if he hits me back with the, oh, these are called the house wheel. I'm, I'm going to be convinced one of them is a big nerd over there because the green and black ones, those were the swarms, the Golgari swarm. Well, the black and blue guild in magic, man, the black and blue guild in magic is called house Demir. So if these are called the house, it's confirmed they're nerds over there. So we'll m move on. Um, words are hard. We'll move on to the, the drop. And thank you again. Thank you, thank you, thank you for throwing those wheels in the order. That is really, really cool. I'm a huge fan of those house wheels. I'm calling them house. I don't care. They're the house wheels to me. That was me. So let's start with... Hmm. So there was two wheels that I believe were like the, the star of the show, I guess. We'll go with the one that I saw first. If you haven't ordered from Joy Colt before... This is what the packaging looks like. There's two different kinds. I'll show this real quick. So these are the 3.0 and these are the OG shape, two different colors. Well, I mean, they're two different packaging, same packaging, two different graphics, whatever. I'm, I'm excited. So I did get two of these, one my girlfriend, one for me. So it's kind of hard to show. I'll have to have a picture of it on my phone but they're gonna be like a almost transparent or maybe translucent, but they're still like, you know, it's 100% opaque, um, but it's like orange and then like a blue face. Definitely you can see the color a little bit better when it's in like a bright light. Right now what I'm doing is I'm holding it to the light to see if I can get them to glow or maybe they need sunlight. Nope. I'll let them bake in the not bake. I'll let them soak up some some light and then I'll show what it looks like 
later tonight. But these wheels look very, very nice. I need to find a board because I do want to set these up uh, today. But I just got to find the right board for it. So, yeah. Once again, those were the the dual radiators. So I'll go ahead and set them on this. I think it's a coaster. It's a little Berlinwood coaster. Put that right there. Let them soak up a little bit more light. And I'll put them on board. Uh, up next is going to be the second wheel that there was a big fuss about. These were called something really long. Let me pull it up. These wheels right here, they are called the FDE 650X Real Street True Rare Ultra Pro Tan. The tan might actually just be the color. So that other name, the rest of the name minus tan. And so these ones, they might be a different material. To me, they look more like a bone white or off white, maybe. Or maybe that's exactly what tan is. I don't I don't know color names either. Way, like, I like the colorway. Um, when I first saw the picture and I saw that they were called tan, I thought they're going to be more of like a beige color. But no, it's like almost, I don't know, cream, Be off white cream. I'm not sure. Maybe that is tan and I have no idea what the color tan looks like. Either way, I know that y'all will be asking about these, so I'll probably go outside to test these wheels out. I'm already itchy just thinking about it. But yeah, super hyped to try those wheels out. Up next, these are going to be the tuxedos. These ones right here, it's going to be a black wheel with a white face. Super basic, super clean. I'm pretty sure these wheels will match with just about anything. I wasn't planning on rhyming like that. That was weird. Up next are these guys. And I'm pretty sure someone was reading my mind because... When I had gotten those, uh, the cotton candies, the showstoppers, I think is what they're called. The one where it's like a different color with the other color. I was thinking to myself like, man, I need to, I want to send them a message and ask if and when a purple wheel with the pink face is going to come out. But I never sent it. I just, you know, thought about it. These were announced at the drop. I got super excited. So those ones, I did get two of them. Yeah, for me, I like these wheels a lot. So I opened one of them. One I'm planning on setting up first, obviously, and then these ones. I'll set them up at some point. We'll see. And another reason why I think, I mean, I think I know the real reason because strawberry and grape in the box. Look, in the other video, I was like, who's the nerd over there? Because of the what I said earlier about the Golgari Swarm. These are called nerds. I'm pretty sure it's after the candy, but I like I like my version better. And these ones right here, they are the Frosties. These ones I didn't get. Uh, my girlfriend wanted them. But, I mean, if you need a color reference, they look kind of like this, which are going to be the drinks before they turn purple. It looks kind of like the same, the same sort of color. I'm not 100% sure, because maybe the packaging kind of changed the color a little bit. But that's kind of what I'm getting from it. Um, next are going to be my second favorite wheel from this drop. So it's going to be like this dark blue with a purple swirl wheel with a white face. But yeah, these were the my second favorite wheel from that drop because one, I like the gummy sharks, right? But two, I just thought it was such a really, really nice looking wheel. Colorway. I mean colorway. And up next are the Crippies. And they're going to be like a bright green, almost like an apple green wheel. They kind of look super bright on the camera, at least from the little screen. They don't look that bright in person. They're like a little bit darker. So it's going to be a lot. One, one of the reasons why I was one of the reasons why I wasn't like immediately on board with the Crippies is I thought they were going to be too bright. It was going to be really hard for me to find a board to match these wheels. S seeing them in person they're a lot darker than what they show up on in the camera. Like on the camera, they're actually glowing like they're made from kryptonite, right? But in person, they're more of like a candy apple color, which I'm a fan of that color. But eh, I don't know. Still got to find a board to match that that color because green's not like high priority when it comes to boards and stuff. And then last but not least, some OG gummy sharks. 
I like this colorway. I got them in two different shapes. Because you never know when I want to throw the OGs on. So, that's really, really cool. So, I'll throw the wheels on this board right here. <laughs> our, our model today is going to be this Coffee Phantom. These are the tuxedos. Were the tuxedos. Here are the gummy sharks. Here are the nerds. Here are the dual radiators. Kind of don't look too bad on this board. Last but not least, these are that really long name that I'll call the streets. Hang on. These are the FDE. 650x real streetwear ultra pro 10 so after i had ended the video uh i was thinking to myself what board am i going to match those wheels with took a while but i found the board it is going to be a bonk don't let the red top ply fool you the red has like nothing to do with what's underneath uh yeah we're gonna set it up so here's the deck all set up we have black velvet on top the deck is going to be a 34 millimeter bonk deck. The trucks are going to be Black River 3.0s and the wheels are going to be the 3.0 Classics Dual Radiators. Hopefully it comes out really good in the camera. In person it looks fantastic. I put the gummy sharks on this catfish deck right here. It matches the middle plies very, very well. Let's see, you're fine, you're fine, you're fine. Uh, the nerds put them on this milk. Yeah. Showtime on this double joint. Trucks are a lot tighter on that one. Uh, this ain't about y'all though. Well, maybe you. And you. The other ones I haven't set up yet. So this episode is just going to be all, all over the place. Um, so I got some information about those two wheels that were included. The yellow set, the ones that I called Silly Bananas. That might not be the actual name, but that is a preview of a colorway that is coming out in the next drop. And those black and blue wheels... Those are called Jasper, and they were released around 2020 from the information that I gathered. Because when I got them, I went on an expedition trying to find those wheels. Information about those wheels. So what I have here in front of me uh, is the rest of the order because I forgot something. I wanted to get a deck. I don't really say any bad words. I don't really say any curse words, so that crosses one out, and I don't partake in certain activities, believe it or not. So the one with the devil's lettuce was crossed out too, leaving me with one option. Well, I already did have a Joy Colt deck. Um, I think I brought it up at one point, said that I lost it. I found it. It's this blue and gold Joy Colt, yellow top ply. This one, I mean, y'all know that I get sentimental about things, so there was like no way that I'd be able to force myself to set this one up unless I came across like an exact copy of it. So this one, uh, um, that's a lie. I'm probably gonna set it up at some point, but not now. So I got a complete, let's check it out. I, this is like towards the end of the video. We're just going to open it. So real quick, threw in a ton of stickers. Bunch of these guys. Bunch of these guys. There was five. There was five of all of them. Five of the three. Got some more Crippies. These are going to be the 3.0 shape. Um, the other ones were OG shapes, OG classics. These are going to be the 3.0 classics. I also picked up a set of the really long name tan wheels. These are going to be in the OG XL shape. I figured that if I'm going to be using them outdoors, I want a bigger wheel. I did pick up a complete fingerboard as well. Here's the front of the packaging. Got some really cool artwork on it. And here's the back. There is a little, little story. I'll go ahead and read it. 
It says, in the heart of an ancient forest, there lived a mysterious creature known as Fuzzy Guy with nimble fingers and ancient wisdom. He crafted the most extraordinary fingerboards. Using rare woods imbued with mystical energy, Fuzzy Guy shaped the decks with care and precision. Each one held the essence of the creature himself, resonating with a power beyond comprehension. But it was the wheels that set Fuzzy Guy's creations apart. Made from a secret blend of enchanted materials, they pulsed with a vibrant energy. When combined with the magical decks, they brought life to every ride propelling shredders into a realm of pure joy nerds i'm just kidding you know i'm all about this stuff the backstory on a lot of things and i like going into like the lore of stuff if y'all didn't know i play a lot of dungeon dragons magic the gathering world of warcraft stuff like that and now fortnite which has a pretty lengthy backstory as well or storyline or you know whatever you want to call it storyline lore yeah there's a lot in there so inside the bag you do get one sheet of grip tape this the board is held inside this little cardboard carrier i guess i don't know what to call it and it's already put together with some of the second third generation of dynamics the one that has the little engraving oh the 3.0 classic joy colt whites Woo. All right, so we will go ahead and grip this. So I'm going to go ahead and put this board together the way that I would. I mean, I'm still going to use all the stuff. It's just I don't like to cover the, the hardware. So... <clears throat> so here's the board all put together. I all put together it's basically I just applied the grip tape and it is going to be the clown world graphic it is 34 millimeters wide just from feeling it it does feel like it has like medium kicks with a pretty mellow concave there's definitely concave in there so it's not what I would consider mellow but it's not maybe it's just medium maybe I'm just so used to like a deep concave it feels a lot more mellow than it actually is but it feels solid Oh yeah, I was originally planning on putting those street tan wheels on this board, and this is what I was going to test it out, but it has purple metal plies. So I'm putting the Showtime wheels on this one, and those tan wheels are going to have to wait just a little bit. I will find a board to put them on, and lucky for me, like those tan wheels, they'll go with just about anything, but not, and not everything can go with those Showtime wheels, so... Put the showtime wheels here's the clown world deck with the showtime wheels and it is a perfect match oh, ho, ho, ho. so you can pick up this board like the with the white wheels um, it does come with the Joy Colt deck, Dynamic Trucks, Joy Colt Wheels, which is a solid, solid start for about 130 bucks. It might have said 120 but I'm trying to remember this off the top of my head, but I do believe it was 130 Or if you want to try the board, they do sell the boards by themselves as well, and those are going to run about 50 bucks. And from, you know, the few flips that I did, they feel solid. And it beat the rail up, apparently. The board shreds. The board, it does feel fantastic. The trucks, I mean, you already know, they're great. The wheels, fantastic. I've already tried, you know, two of the three pieces here, so this is my first time actually trying the Joy Colt deck. And coming from someone who likes a high kick, deep concave, again, going back to like the Epic, the Rabid, stuff like that, this board is very, very comfortable. And I think why I like this board so much, the fat nose. I like, I like the big noses. The tail is going to be more on the tapered end, so it's going to be a lot um, sharper. I guess maybe it, it tapers a lot more than the nose does so yeah there's that but the board itself it's it's super super comfortable Let's see if we can get a front side flip 
yeah, the board just feels really, really good. Front side heel flip. That wasn't it. So nice. Nolly heel. I figured. That was close. That was close. I'm about to throw all my boards away. You, you you all saw that. Hello, Scott. I don't know. I don't know what else to say. The board's really good. Um, I'm going to find some board, test those the, those street wheels out because I kind of don't want to mess with this setup any more than I already have because you all saw that Nolly Hill. Look, it's a big deal to me. All right. Um, so there will be a follow up video with those wheels. Give it some time and I'll, I'll you know, break down those wheels. Hopefully it's going to be before they release those wheels, maybe in a different color, maybe some more of those hands. I don't know. We'll find out uh, at some point. Maybe they won't release them. I don't know. But um, the next drop, they did preview a wheel. I previewed a wheel. So there's definitely going to be another drop. So Instagram down in the description, website down in the description, my Instagram down in the description. You know what to do. Take it easy. Have a good one.